Last year, I closed and I shared my personal story about why I got involved in the fight against malaria. I didn't last very long without sobbing on stage. So I'm not going to do that this year. There's a video somewhere. Um, but, but let me just say how grateful and inspired I am that each and every one of you are here. This is an issue that matters. And we all come at it from a different perspective, whether we've personally experienced malaria, have family members that have, have visited a country that's close to our heart that is still dealing with malaria. In part, I care about it. I'm a mother of three, three young kids. And I know when I put my children to bed at night, it's a time of safety and security and peace. It's a time where we you know, tell stories and we rub backs and we sing songs and we share nursery rhymes. And I, what haunts me is that mothers and fathers and grandparents and caretakers around the world, when they put their children to bed at night, they know they're subjecting them to a potentially life-threatening mosquito bite. And frankly, that's not acceptable, right? That's unjust. Um, so that's why I fight for this work. But it's also because of all of you who come, come to us and have such passion, determination. And this is a fight we can win. That's what's really exciting. We've made incredible progress. We still have a ways to go. You've heard about some of the challenges ahead of us. And it's not to take them lightly. But we know what we need, and that's political will. That's resources and commitment. That's engagement and partnership. And hopefully you're as inspired as I am to continue the fight and truly so that we can be the generation to end malaria for good. So thank you so much for being here. Um, just a quick note on logistics. Um, so we are wrapping up tomorrow morning. Uh, please be ready with packed up um, and have all your luggage down in the lobby around 6.45. That is when buses will start to leave for Capitol Hill. I know that's early. So you've been you know, no noted. Um, don't stay out too late tonight. Um, so we have a 6.45 start. Um, if you have a flight that leaves before 5 p.m., please do talk to Wendy, Ama, or Wes, who are sitting outside at the registration table so that we can figure out the logistics of getting you your luggage. Um, if you don't have a flight before 5, you can leave your luggage, you know, when, as you're checking out, have the concierge take your luggage and put it in, a, in a, we have a special room um, that you can access later for when you come back and so you can grab your stuff and head to the airport. Um, the other things, so we essentially, hopefully you have a bit of a sense of the schedule, but the buses will leave at 6.45. We'll all be headed to Capitol Hill. We're going to be taking a group photo, which is really fun, uh, at 7.30 in front of the Capitol on the Senate side. Um, and then we're going to head into the Congressional Visitor Center, the CVC. The CVC has very strict security measures because it's under the Capitol. So you can imagine why they might have strict uh, security measures. So if you haven't been warned already, please do not bring food, water, what else? Perfume. Essentially, it's like airport rules, except you don't have to take off your shoes, which is great. Um, but please, literally, you will have to like bury your snacks in the in the grass outside of the CVC if you have. Uh, Ashley has done that. So, um, yeah, please don't bring you know favorite expensive snacks. Um, and so they will let us into the building. We have a breakfast from about 8 to 9.30. It will take us a while to get through security into the CVC. We are hearing from two members of con Congress, which is really special. Uh, Representative Chris Smith from New Jersey, a Republican, and Representative Barbara Lee from Oakland, a Democrat, who are going to um, speak to us from in the 9 to 9.30 zone. There will be some of you who have meetings starting at 9. So unfortunately, you'll probably miss some of those remarks. Um, but you will go straight to those meetings, and you're till your hill leads know what they're doing. Um, otherwise, your team lead knows what you're doing, has a schedule, you have your talking points. Please do take some time tonight to look up your representative and your senators. Get a sense of you know who they are. Where did they go to school? Because maybe they went to the same university that you went to, and that's a connection. Do they have kids? That's a connection. Then they should care about kids dying from malaria. Are they on the Armed Services Committee? If so, make sure you talk to them about the impact that malaria has had on the military and the role that the military has played in research and development, right? Get to know them so that you can imagine what are the talking points that are going to most resonate with that office. So do a little bit of homework tonight. Not too strenuous, but um, luckily everything's, you know, <laughs> on your phone. Um, 
and just and just start thinking about what is what is the one or two statistic, what is the one or two story that you learned over the course of the last three days that really resonates with you? Was it Sifa and Dusha? Was it Dr. Magali talking about the importance of engaging diaspora and members of the community around you know overcoming challenges? Just think about what are those stories that you want to take because really that is where your power is. The statistics and the details and the funding levels. It's all important, but the reality is that's going to be in a leave behind folder. So don't stress about that. Think about what, the, what you need to focus on is what is your story? Why do you care about this? Why did you take time, three days out of your busy lives, to be at this conference, to join us on Capitol Hill, and to make your voice heard? So that's what I encourage you to focus on. The Hill Leads will have all the details. So don't sweat the small stuff. It's, um, I know I was intimidated the first time I went on Capitol Hill, um, but truly it's one of the most inspiring empowering things you can do. As I said before, in the US, you know, we're, we're really lucky. Uh, we're you know, one of the very few countries in this world. We live in a democracy. We have access to our elected officials. They may not be perfect. Our democracy has a ways to go. But it's one of the only places you can walk into your member of Congress's office and tell them what you care about, and they have to listen to you. So own that power. So go team, and let's be the Generation N malaria. Woo!